Hey folks, this video is going to show you how to storyboard once you've finished your thumbnails. Uh, in other words, this is called rough boarding. So, when you illustrate panels, you want to consider line economy. These two drawings here show the same character, however one has been drawn much more quickly. So when doing this type of work, I think you should try to develop your own style, also called shorthand, and I think you should do it in a way that helps you draw very efficiently. So when I'm rough boarding, my goal is to draw as many panels as needed to communicate the idea of the film. I want to add in visual details that add in or stack information, and I want to build a clear understanding of what's happening. Before ending this video, it's also important to note that TV and feature film boards have a different aspect ratio. You'll need to use wider storyboard panels if you board for film and narrow for TV. All right, so here's a flip through of the rough board. And um, yeah, notice that there's a lot of stuff going on, such as grids. I've got a variety of shots. So here's a wide shot. Here's a little bit tighter of a wide shot. It's almost a medium, even though we can see all of Woody's body. And then look at how I'm stacking information by cutting away to show Bo Peep's reaction to Woody getting thrown off the bed. This shot right here sets up this wide shot that'll orient the audience that the kids are leaving the room. Notice that I went in and I drew lots of additional panels. So instead of drawing a bunch of arrows of kids running in and out of frame, I have this one shot of the room door open, then kids run in, more kids run in and out of frame, and then the door finally closes. And just to make it abundantly clear that the kids are, have left the room, I have one additional panel now let's go back and review what we talked about with these different types of cinematography shots. I've got a nice full shot right here. It's kind of like a, almost like a wide shot of Mr. Potato Head. I'm stacking information. So you could see the characters that are off to the left and right. Um, they have reactions on their faces, but even though I could have drawn this panel with one piece or one panel with this piece of dialogue, Note that I'm drawing an additional panel with some acting that's happening with Mr. Potato Head and a reaction from the characters. This leads into a close up. So we're at a wide shot, now we're at a close up. And look at all of these different panels that I've drawn just to be able to show Rex's reaction as he wonders, are we gonna get replaced? So hopefully this all makes sense. Um, there's no real one way to do this, you just, need to be clear and communicative as you try to rough board so people get an idea of what your film's about. All right, guys, I hope that was helpful. Do me a favor and go give this a shot. Thanks for watching. Bye.